How to run a faster mile, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna to give you seven tips on how to run a faster 1600 meters, or a mile, or 1500, whatever it is you're training for. They're not that different. So, you know me, you know the first tip I always say, what do I say? Run more! The easiest way to get better. The mile, right? Hold on, follow me. How do you put this on? This is the worst marker I've ever actually seen. Look at this. We don't have a backup, do we? Ah! The mile is roughly 70% aerobic, 30% anaerobic. So that means aerobic system, you're building up your body's ability to use oxygen. And so that's why you need to run more mile. If you can become more efficient, then you're gonna be a better miler. Basically what I'm trying to say is if you want to be able to run four laps fast without getting super tired immediately, then you're gonna wanna build your aerobic system. And you do that by, what was that? Running more, that's right. So Ryan, how many miles do I do? This is what I normally did in high school. I would see what I was doing in cross country. If it was working, I would carry it over to track and just maintain that mileage and kind of just try to go a little bit. Improve the quality of the miles. So I was doing 70 miles a week in cross country my senior year, and then I carried that all the way through off season, try to improve the quality of the, of the runs I was doing. I did 70 miles all throughout track season until regionals and state and it worked out really well for me. I think I improved a lot. So I think the biggest difference between cross country and track is just trying to build more strength in your training. So that kind of brings me into number two, tip number two, which is tempo runs. Follow me. There's actually nowhere we're going. This is a small room. Tempo runs, literally my favorite workout. Such good quality workout. Scientifically, is called a lactate threshold run. It's just a faster paced workout and it should be comfortably hard according to the scientists. My favorite workout in the off season because it wasn't too taxing. Like you can do the tempo workout and then follow it up with some strides or some 200s and you kind of walk away feeling good in a way because you didn't quite cross that, that threshold line that they're talking about, lactate building that up. So every time you do a tempo run, your body's kind of getting adjusted to that level of lactate. 20 minute tempo run, I did four miles actually. The rule of thumb, if you wanna figure out a good pace for your tempo run, is add a minute to your mile time. So that off season last year, my mile time was 427. My tempo runs would be like 525 to 530 on a good day. Sometimes they're slower. You can't always knock out the pace you want. We're not robots, unlike Sophia. Am I right, guys? I would always finish up the four mile tempo with eight 200s with 200 meter jog recovery. So it's like two miles nonstop, but you're doing 200 kind of not crazy fast, like 35 to 40 seconds. Just trying to stay sharp because when it comes to track season, you don't want to go in there and be in a freaking, what's, what's the word I'm thinking of when you're like, Je like a jello man. Is jello man a thing? Tempo runs. Best workout ever. I recommend doing them one to two times a week. Generally, my structure I'm kind of referring to here in the off season is one long run, one tempo run at four miles, maybe a longer steady state run, like eight miles, and just try to maintain a faster pace than normal. Then just a bunch of easy days. And I know that might sound like crazy, but high mileage, incorporating easy days every now and then. It's the recipe. I'm telling you, it is the recipe if you wanna get a faster mile time. It just is. Strides. Tip number three, always do your strides. If you don't do your strides, you're not gonna be able to crank out a fast mile in the first few meets, right? So if you wanna, if you wanna come into the season already being on top of your game, and be able to improve from there, just do your strides. I know it's an extra like five minutes, five, maybe 10 minutes after your run. Oh, it's like, I don't feel like it. It's gonna be worth it, I promise you. Whenever your competitor steps on the line, you can look at them in the eye sockets. Hey buddy, I did my strides. I mean, basically just do six to eight 100 meter strides at your 800 meter race pace. So, I mean, for me, that was like 30 seconds-ish. Stay sharp. Long run, tip number four is the long run. I know this ain't cross country anymore, I know. The long run is the single most important component of a weekly training schedule. I said it, there, sue me. If you can build your aerobic base through long runs, you're gonna be set. Because I mean the mile, like I said earlier, the majority of it is aerobic. So don't neglect your long runs. It's almost like, let's say you're going out to, uh, what's, a, what's, a re what's a restaurant? Chili. Say, let's say you're going to Chili's, okay? The waiter brings out a menu. Oh, uh, here you go, sir, here's your menu. You look at the menu, there's no honey barbecue chicken crispers. What do you mean there's no honey barbecue chicken? Get your long run in, because if you don't, that's like the equivalent of coming to Chili's with no honey barbecue chicken crispers on the menu. I don't know if that, <laughs> that makes sense to me. That's all I'm gonna say. Build that aerobic base, baby. All right, tip number five, major key, huge. Take your easy days easy. That's simple, right? Some people get it wrong. I think it kind of displays a level of maturity if you're able to take your easy days easy. 
just save all that energy and all that stress for a workout day, a tempo day, or a long run. You just need to take care of your body and a really good way to get injured fast in the off season. The main thing I feel like with track runners, cross country runners, the successful ones don't get injured. I mean, over a long period of time, they take care of their body. The guy that isn't injured is always gonna be the guy that is. It just, it's facts. I mean, also, if you wanna do doubles, that's okay too, if you feel like, my legs hurt so bad. I don't know if I can go do all my mileage in one go right now. That's all right. Just split it up into two runs and get your mileage in that way. Just take your easy days easy. Don't even look at your watch on your easy days. Just run. In the off season is staying flexible, warming up, cooling down, doing your stretches. And that just comes back to injury, right? If you don't take care of yourself, I mean, what do you expect? It's a simple recipe to stay healthy. And I mean, you can do it or you can't, but when it comes to track season, you aren't racing. Ryan tried to tell you. I mean, whether it's just jogging a little bit before you run or just stretching a little bit before you run and afterwards as well, do it. Also, you just wanna make sure you're drinking plenty of water because water is the lubricant of your joints. Keeps your joints and muscles fluid and, and flexible. Honestly, the best way to stay hydrated is straight out of your Neptune bottle. These are available on Amazon now. It would mean a lot if you went and supported us. Stainless steel water bottles keeps your drinks hot or cold 24 hours. Link in description if you want to get one. I don't know. It's whatever though. All right, I love you guys so much. Thanks and bye. Tip number seven, have fun. Cut. So I hope those tips helped you. It's really, like I said, the whole video, it's a simple recipe to, to become a better miler. You can definitely drop your time a lot in one off season. Much can change with such little time as long as you do everything right. And it's not, it doesn't have to be a stressful, like oh, grind, 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 go hard every day kind of thing. You just have to be consistent, do your runs and do everything right. And I mean, you're gonna set yourself up for success. So I hope this video helped you a lot. If you have any questions on running a faster mile, Hopefully I can help you in some way. Just drop a comment down below and I'll hit you up. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. Be sure to drop a like if you haven't already and subscribe if you're new here. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I will catch you next time. Adios. Thank you so much for watching the video. It would mean the world to me if you checked out my company, Neptune, on Amazon. We sell really good stainless steel water bottles and the link to shop is in the description. Go check it out. Be sure to subscribe to me for new videos every single day and make sure you go check out my last video. It was a banger. Follow your boy on Instagram at Trahan. I'd say I post some pretty awesome pics and go follow me on Twitter and Snapchat at RYTrahan. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.